stylish and being fashionable are two entirely different things. You can easily buy your way into being fashionable. Style, I think, is in your DNA. How to beat this recession and still be stylish? Stick with me. I'll keep you woke. We are going to beat this recession. Welcome to my channel. So guys, as you know on this channel, sustainability matters and we embrace imperfect sustainability. So I'll leave you some tips on how you could be imperfectly sustainable. I always operate as if I'm in a recession. So that's one way again that you could beat the recession by having a recession mindset that allows you to consume in a way that make you instead of break you. For me, I also have my recession bags. One of the best place if you want to remain stylish after looking into your closet, if you think that you see something that is reasonably priced and it needs a little project. For me personally, I do not buy a bag that, that is really a project bag that I have to take it to the back spa and spend $5,000 to repair it. <coughs> Bucking. No. This is, yeah, you know what this is. And it's right now being reissued in a time of recession instead of going to buy new a style that was in the 1980s now being reissued guys the letter is amazing it has these beautiful scratches i look at these as wrinkles of signs of beautiful moments when this bag was being used it was used yet it stood the test of time it's intact it's just scratch just scratch that could be buffed out i just haven't gotten around to it but you could find very elegant bags luxury bags if you insist and you could make them into your own little mini project as long as it's not too expensive to do so and still be chic. And if you want to use the word fashionable, yeah, this is being reissued. It's now half the size and you could have this for a fraction of the price on the second hand market some of my other bags as I've said before I'm always in a recession this is another recession bag this is a gorgeous beautiful piece it's made from what is this leather oh my god I forgot this letter but the brand, if you know the brand, it's famous for having this type of sturdy leather. It stood the test of time. I am the one that added this strap. It's a little clutch. It fits the phone. It's beautiful. Yeah. Very, very gorgeous recession bags that you could still buy at a very reasonable price on the second-hand market and remain stylish throughout this recession period. Some of the other bags that I absolutely love, guys, are Dooney and Box bags. Absolutely love them because these bags, they bags such as these, and by fossil, those are 
old school bags that continue to just they are not going anywhere these are intergenerational bags they would stand the test of time these are the types of bags that not only make you look stylish but you do not need to spend an arm and a leg to remain stylish in a time of recession so I absolutely love these and as such I'm going to style up this for you today as a work piece and also you would see it as a casual piece as well if you're not comfortable wearing the dress like this because it does have a very high slit then you could pair it with a pants another pants i found at the back of my closet Hey kid, don't ever let them get inside your head They'll tell you what to do in life instead Of everything you know that you could get Don't let them guide your life towards regret I'll fight for what I love with every breath My past is filled with things I won't forget I use them all to push me to my best So treat the worst of times just like a test if only I could go back in time I'd tell myself that everything will end up alright Just push yourself, test yourself, figure out what you like and Find your limits, don't be rigid, always work towards a prime Surround yourself with open minds, people can change your life A few friends with intent can help you In a period of recession, you often have to stretch your pieces to capacity And actually you get more wear out of them so now I casualize this piece from work to wherever <laughs> casually you want to go. So I'm going to pair it with this. Feel alive, find a passion, take some action, and with a little time, just be patient, make a statement, try to enjoy it. Of course, you could leave it as is. Like they'll try to kick you while you're down. They want to rise up while you're down. Then. I'm going to incorporate these and this. So many things you could do. I could also pair this with this. When you have accessories or certain items, in it, you could stretch them. You could get so many wear out of them. As long as you choose your pieces carefully, you could be it any recession with the way you style your pieces and the way you rewear whether it's casually or in a work setting you could get more wear out of your pieces as long as you choose your accessories and pieces that suit you very carefully but i showed you this style trick so i'm going to incorporate it they want to fill your head with doubt They're silently scared that you'll figure it And you could use any of your recession bags <laughs> That is me just creating that recession bag The reason why green is my favorite color And this could range from almost any shades of green Whether it's hunter green or khaki green Or that avocado and olive type of green. I love a variety of greens and it's my neutral. Green is what the world is surrounded by. Green and browns, they are my main neutrals. So it could go with anything. I'll, I'll make it look like I'm losing. Won't bother hiding my You don't have to match anything you don't have to necessarily match your shoes if you want to if you're a belt like me and you've been collecting belts you could also use this but as I said you could get creative with anything Make some progress.
guess I could see that they compare I think everyone's against me, maybe something in the air Am I paranoid? I swear a void is forming and they're scared I walk a straight path, not many can say that I like to play fast, cross me and there's payback You better pray Other recession mindset sort of things that you could do one you could swap guys that's easy reach out to other people who are open to swapping even me if you see something that i have and you may probably want to swap with me reach out there's no guarantee that i'll swap that particular one but i could offer an alternative <laughs> try me another recession mindset tip is to use your wallet if you're looking for a bag alternative just use a wallet this is such an awesome wristlet you could use this as a, an errand purse and as an evening out for drinks it holds every single thing that you have for ages men have been using wallets the fashion industry has been trying to push bags on men and they have pushed back we don't always need a bag which brings me to the other recession minded tip pockets go without a bag look as long as you have a pocket, you just put all your essentials in it. This one is very deep. Always look for deep pockets. That's one of my tips when it even comes to shopping vintage. Look for items with deep pockets. It's also a sign of real vintage because they make them with very deep pockets. Especially if you're going out dancing or to a festival, you don't need a bag. You just need deep pockets and you're good. Yeah, you're good to go. Yeah. Who needs purse? If you absolutely do, one of the tips I also use in a recession mindset is to use these linen bags. Guys, I've shared these bags with you before. They are very chic. Wow. This actually is, is from the dryer. I washed it. So it's really wrinkled, but I'll show you how I styled it a while back. I don't see your face at any place that I go I know you hate that I've been doing fine I'm not wasting any more time I live for the fight and the climb Guys, these are really chic bags Where do you think that brands such as Marnie and even Chanel they have these bags that they slap their labels on and hike up the prices these bags are really chic chic for grocery shopping chic for shopping regular shopping they are chic for going on the beach you get so much cost per wear out of bags like these a recession mindset you utilize any and everything that you find. Another great one, and many luxury YouTubers are absolutely engaged in this. They have been doing it for quite a while. Use your makeup bags. I find them look very chic. This is mine. For me and my love for top handles you tell me this is not a bag it's very chic I could wear this anywhere if I'm going on a weekend this would double 
as my makeup bag and my evening bag. You need to put whatever you have to work. Let them walk harder for you. And of course you could look at all my tips that I've left you before. Just go on each of them. They are sustainable tips. As I've said to you before, they work in a recession. They could work any, any time. It's the mindset that I hope that you could grow to love. To use things sensibly and mindfully. And you'll be fine. Yeah. So guys, yes, you could do so much in a time of recession simply by adjusting your mindset and at the same time go into your closet, utilize every single piece that you haven't worn in a long time. You don't need to go shopping. Get creative, like I've shown you with the belt, and you would beat any recession. You could take my word for it. I grew up a very poor island girl, so when recession comes, we were always able to manage our expectations and adjust accordingly. Uh, so I hope you have enjoyed that. I hope that you have learned something and I'll see you next Sunday. Take care of yourselves. Bye. Mwah.